Hi, I'm going to give you a short introduction on Racket, which we need because Rosette is written in Racket, and we're going to use Rosette for the program synthesis tutorial. If you have already followed the class CSC324, you won't learn anything new in this short tutorial. It's only for the people who don't have any background in Racket, and we're going to introduce only the basics. And that's all we need for the program synthesis tutorial later. So Racket is a programming language, a functional programming language that is a dialect of Lisp and a descendant of Scheme. And Racket as a dialect of Lisp is only built with S expression. So the syntax is everything S expression. An S expression is either an atom or a list of S expressions enclosed in parentheses. And an, an atom is plus uh, time, so an operator or an identifier or a constant of the language. And for example, function calls are S expressions, where the first X expression in the list of S expressions is F, and then the other expressions are X, Y, Z are the arguments. So for example, plus one, two, three, four. This expression is the function call of the plus operation on the list of argument 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will evaluate as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. And then the function call of the string function on the hello string will evaluate to true. Then there's definitions. Definitions are also written as S expressions, where the first expression is the defined keyword then you write what you're defining, either a constant, so a single name, like x in the first line, or a function. If you're defining a function, you're, you have to use an S expression where the first uh, element of the S expression is the function name itself, and then the arguments of the function. And then uh, last in this uh, define S expression, you have the body of what you're defining. In the first case, it's a constant, the body is just five, for example. And in the second case, we're defining a function, so we define the body of the function. And in the third line, the function call of f on the argument x, one, and two will evaluate to eight, because we're calling f, which has the body plus x, y, z, z, on the argument x, which has defined to be 5, and then the argument 1 and 2. Then the constants that we are going to use are integers, which are the same integers that you've seen in other languages, and then booleans, which are hashtag t for true, and hashtag false, f for false. To compare these uh, integers and booleans, or in more general, to compare these objects, we use equal question mark. And the equal symbol only to compare numbers. You'll see sometimes the ek uh, question mark, uh, but it's only for comparison by reference and we won't need it in the context of program synthesis. Then you probably will want to be able to write conditional expressions. So conditionals are if condition then exp else exp and it's also as for the rest in this expression. So we can define a function that returns the absolute value of x by checking if x is larger than 0, so if comparison function is applied to x and 0, then we return x, and if not, then we return minus x. And you can also have local declarations. So we've seen that uh, you can write expressions, and one possible expression is a let expression where you bind exp1 to v1 and exp2 to v2. So note that you have first let and then a list of s expressions enclosed in a parenthesis where each s expression binds to an identifier and expression. So in the example below, we write a function that computes the polynomial with coefficients a, b, c and input x. And we first bind a times x squared to a2 and we bind b times x to b1. And finally, this is the expression plus a2 
a2 plus b1 plus c. And so this evaluates to a times x squared plus b times x plus c.